What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel where we're passionate about everything RF. Today's video is the third and final video in the Nucleo TNC series where we're going to go through the process of flashing the firmware onto the device, configure it to work with your radio, set up an example program, and then test everything out to make sure it works. Hang around and we'll dig right in. Okay. We're approaching a restricted area. Restricted area is one mile west. All right, so let's go ahead and get this Nucleo TNC flashed and configured. Now, to do that, you'll need two things. That'll be the firmware and this TNC config app. Now, I'll include links to both of these in the video description. But let's go ahead and start with the firmware. And that link will take you to the mobile linked Nucleo TNC GitHub page. Now at the time of this recording, the current version is 2.4.4. When you come across this video, that may be different. If that is the case, I would go and download whatever the current version is. Now if you scroll down to this assets section here, you'll see a .bin file. That's the one you're going to want to download. Let's go ahead and save that. So once that's downloaded, go ahead and open up the folder where it's located. And we can go ahead and flash to the device now. That process is really simple. Let me turn this camera on here. Now before you flash the device, you will notice See if this will show up on camera if it would focus. Yep. On the Nucleo board, which is this white board here, you will notice there is a jumper. Make sure you remove that, otherwise it will not work. So remove that and go ahead and plug the micro USB cable that's coming from your computer plug it into the nucleo board here helps if you put it in correctly all right now when you do that you will likely get a new drive that pops up you may get the window pop up if not look look at your drives and look for a drive named node underscore L432KC. That will be the drive for the Nucleo board. To flash the device, it's simply drag and drop this firmware bin file onto it. And you'll notice the board flash while it's doing that. Then it'll disappear and it'll come back. So here's that drive. You may notice that that firmware file that we just drug over is not on here. That is perfectly normal. As long as you only see the details and embed file, you're good to go. If you see a file name failed, the process did not work and you'll have to start over. Maybe the bin file was corrupted or something. Just re-download it and give it another try but as long as you just see these two files you are good to go now that we have the device flashed we're ready to install the TNC config app and again I'll have a link to this in the video description now this link will immediately download that file you can uh, go and save it now, depending on your web browser, you may get a message saying this isn't a file that's commonly downloaded. If you do get that, just hit keep. You may have to tell it to keep again. All right, once that is downloaded, we can open that file to start the installer. Here it is. All right, go ahead and hit next on that. And you may get something pop up asking if you want to allow it. And just hit yes. All right, so that is now installed. Close this window out. 
Now to find it, you want to go to the Windows Start menu and just start typing in TNC. And you will see a program named Mobile Linked TNC Config Serial. We'll go and open that up. Now in this drop down box, this will show you all the connected COM ports. You may only see one or you may see multiple. If you only see one, that is likely your Nucleo TNC. If you have multiple like me, you'll need to figure out which one is the Nucleo TNC. Now to do that, just go to the start menu and start typing in device manager. And go and go to that device manager and look for the ports section here. And in this section, this will show you all your COM ports. Now I have a different driver that I downloaded for another project I'm working on. So yours will likely not be named this. I forget what the usual name is, but to, to be sure which one yours is, if it's currently plugged in, go ahead and unplug it. And you'll see one disappear and whichever one disappeared that's the one it is so you can go ahead and plug it back in and it should reappear and there it is and as you can see in my case it's com 28 so go ahead and close the device manager we can close this up so now we know it's com 28 so go ahead and select that now before we continue further, let me turn this camera on. You want to go ahead and run the audio cable from the TNC over to whatever radio you're planning on using with the TNC. Now let me go ahead and turn this on. So first thing you want to do is make sure the squelch is completely open. So if you unplug the audio, you should hear nothing but static. So once you're good there, we can go ahead and connect. Let me move this over. Make this video a bit bigger. Okay. So let's go ahead and connect. Now you should see this input volume level moving around. I've already set mine, but let me change the settings a bit. All you have to do for the audio input is just tell it auto adjust and let it do its thing and we can move on to audio output. Now as far as the PTT style goes, as far as which one you need will depend depend on which radio you have. Some radios are simplex, some radios are multiplex. To figure out which one yours is, uh, you can start with simplex and then hit the transmit button. Now ideally you'd have a dummy load connected to your radio so you're not transmitting uh, any signals out. If you don't have one, You'll want to hop on, well, look for a frequency that nobody's on one, and then set your radio to the lowest power, which I have mine set to zero. And just throw your call out and say you're doing testing. So we're on simplex, we're hitting transmit, but the radio is not transmitting, so we know it's not going to be simplex. Let's go to multiplex. Hit transmit there, and there you can see the radio is now transmitting. And they have different tones. If you, like I said, if you have another radio nearby, just go through and make sure all the tones sound clean. If they don't, you'll need to adjust the output gain, output twist and all that. 
I've found that I've never really had to mess with the output twist, only the gain. So once you have that adjusted to your radio, these other settings you don't really have to mess with. Go to save settings. Now it always says there are no unsaved changes. Even though you did make changes, just ignore that and go ahead and hit save changes anyways. All right, so once you've saved, you can disconnect. And now your radio and your TNC is now configured to your radio and you're good to go. Now I said this was going to be the final video in this Nucleo TNC series, but this video is already 11 minutes long, so I'll do another video showing how to set up various different applications. Initially, I was just going to do one, which was going to be pinpoint APRS, but uh, doing this in another video will allow me to do multiple applications. So stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when the uh, next video comes out. If you found this helpful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you all, and have a good one.